Hi everyone, this is Steve from Motorcycles in South Wales um, offering our sandblasting and vapour blasting service and also ultrasonic cleaning for carburetors and whatever needs for restorations um, We're just about to try a new gun, it's a triggerless gun I've had lots of problems with the trigger type guns, you can buy off eBay between 10 and 20 pounds, they, they, they give about an hour's work depending on what media you run. If, you, if you're doing a lot of paint removals and you use a very coarse media, the guns just last virtually like five minutes. Um, and, and they're a waste of space. So um, here we have the same sort of nozzle now as what I use in the Vapor Blaster. Um, I've had a quick little go and the siphoning aspect of it is working really well. So I could fit a, a, a foot pedal to operate the trigger, but I can control the air by the air regulator on the outside and I've got to tap to turn off and on. Um, this particular, it's a wheel face, it's a split rim, possibly like off a Porsche, something like that. Um, they're going for powder coating. Um, Bradshaw powder coating services have brought them along to me to clean off. Um, so they, they should turn up nice once they're all painted up. But watch this stuff rip, rip all the old off now. So. Excuse the noise because we've got to put some, uh, the vacuum is going to be on and that's, that's probably more louder than the actual compressor. So here we go, let's see how it goes.
Well, the gun and the media seems to be doing really a real good job of that because um, that is like a powder coating on there and it is stubborn to come off, especially on the face side of it. Um, at the moment, the media is probably running a little bit low than where the siphon pipe is because it's gathered around the edge of the cabinet. But just, I'll just sweep it back down to the bottom, maybe add a little bit more media. But sometimes if the media is too much um, and, and then the weight compacts down at the bottom of the um, the hopper, it tends to sort of find it difficult to suck up the siphon pipe down because sometimes the media itself compacts and, and tries to go like a solid. So I try and run as little as possible in there and just let it sort of fall to the bottom and then keep it moving. But I um, hope this is, you know, uh, used to you for the video, but we know we offer this service. So it, this is much quicker than you're trying to sand things down yourself if you've got something to prepare the painting or powder coating. Anyway, my name's Steve, and uh, like our page and like the video for me and follow us. Bye.